Hi guys, Angelfish Keeper here, and today I'm just going to give you a quick overview of my 100 litre angelfish tank. I'm also going to show you the new angelfish that I've just recently picked up. <clears throat> so this is my 100 litre tank. It's made by a company called Clear Seal. It's 3 foot long, a foot front to back, and it's 15 inches tall. So it holds about 100, 110 litres. But once you take into account the rock, the plants, the wood and the sand, holds about 100 litres. So it's fully live planted. The main plant in it is this Java Fern Wonderlove. I've got absolutely loads of it. It fills the whole tank, pretty much. It's starting to get a bit of brown algae on the tips, so I'm going to do a water change after this video to take care of that. I also have some narrow leaf java fern, just some little clumps of it down here. And I also have some starogyne reapens. This got hit really badly with some black algae, as you can still see some of it on the tips of some of the leaves. But it's starting to make a recovery. Substrate is obviously a sand which I'm surprised this plant actually held to sand to be honest, the root, they've rooted just fine and they're growing perfectly fine, they're only getting liquid fertilizers and CO2 there's no CO2 injection and there's no root tabs or anything like that in the sand there's just a layer of gravel underneath the sand to keep the pH at the desired level because at the moment there's still no buffer in the tap water. It's still coming out the tap at about 6, 6.2 when normally it comes out about 6.8 to 7. So it's still a bit low. It's been internally filtered by an 800 litre per hour filter. Just has sponge in it, there's no other media in there, no carbon or bio bioactive rings or anything like that. All just sponge. I also have lava rock a lot of it in here and that actually will act as a filter media as well because it's so porous on the inside of it it can actually house anaerobic bacteria and that'll take care of your nitrates while the sponge in your filter takes care of your ammonia and nitrite <clears throat> there's a 200 watt heater in the background there but it's hidden by the filter so you can't really see it other than from that side Lighten the tank is a fluval aqua sky. This is the old model. This isn't the Wi Fi controlled one, which is out now, the 3.0. This is the 2.0, this one. So, this is controlled by a little remote here. Those there, the P1, P2, P3, and P4, they are four preset settings on this remote. Then you've got three different moonlights, three different sunlights and you can also simulate thunderstorms with this light. It's very nice. So this is the setting I've got it on now. This is like a lower setting. This is like dusk. That's your dawn setting. And that's your midday. And then you've got thunderstorm. That's your thunderstorm setting. It stays off for a bit before you get a little crash of lightning. There we go. It's really cool. Sorry, you can see the reflection of the marine tank in the background there. Put that back on. Livestock wise in this tank, we have nine of these little July quarries just to clean up the bottom, keep the sand sifted. It is maintenance day, as I said. So there's a bit of poo on the bottom. I'm going to siphon that up after this video. If I can find any, there's actually one on the wood. Just there, but you can't really see it. Just like. 
just uh, you can't see it at all. But there's some otter simplest in there. They're hiding for the camera today. They don't want to be out. I have 20 of these neon terrors. Really popular community fish amongst a lot of people. Nice and hardy, get a decent size. Nice and peaceful. And they bring a lot of colour to the tank and just a little tiny body. Then I also have a school of nine rummy nose terrors. And I use these as an indicator fish. And what I mean by that is, if they've got a bright red nose, like these ones have, trying to keep up with them, it means that the water quality is good. If they don't have a bright red nose, you know there's something wrong with the water. So you need to test your water, put that right. But they're good because they'll let you know if there's anything wrong with your water before anything bad happens. You can kind of go, oh, they haven't got bright red noses, let's test the water. And then, obviously, what the tank is for is these angelfish. I have four in here at the moment. We had a bad power cut about a month back, and I lost all of my pairs. So I have a restock. I have two gold veil angels here. So when these get older, they'll have an orange head. And then I got two marbled angels, which are mainly very high white and don't have a lot of black to them. But hopefully I'll get a pair out of these and I can start producing them again. I have set filled up the big tank again it's a bit cloudy because I didn't wash the sand I forgot so I've just put filter floss in all the filters and that is clearing up eventually and then I'll decide what goes in that but yeah that is the quick update on me 100 litre angelfish tank thanks for watching bye